Hey guys, Level Cap here. Today I want to talk about the Battlefield 1 specialization system that DICE is currently testing on the CTE servers. Now specializations are not new to the Battlefield franchise, they just weren't in Battlefield 1 at launch, and DICE seems to be either getting around to adding them or just decided that, hey, you know what, maybe specializations were a cool thing and we want to add them back to the game. This time around, instead of having a specialization that upgrades along the way, you just pick three base specializations for the class that you're working with. Now when picking your three specializations, there's five universal specializations that every class can pick from, and then each class has access to two exclusive specializations only for that class. So Medic has two custom specializations, Scout has two specializations, as do the rest of the classes. And you do not have to pick one of the two exclusive specializations for your class. You can go all with some of the standard universal specializations if you feel that suits your playstyle better. All right, let's go over the five universal specializations. The first one is called Flak, and it reduces the incoming explosive damage by 15%. That means grenade damage, blast damage from tanks, AT rocket guns, dynamite, whatever. This is incredibly useful and in my opinion the obvious choice for pretty much everybody on the battlefield. It's going to be even more useful in some of the close quarter infantry oriented maps, but I think just across the board this is a must pick for everyone. The next one is called Cover. It reduces incoming suppression by 25%. Definitely something you might want to consider if you really don't like the suppression mechanic in this game, which I don't. However, 25% is hard to say how much that's actually going to affect your in-game performance. Then we have Quick Regen, which reduces the amount of time before your out of combat heal starts by 20%. Useful if you're not playing around any medics, certainly not something you want to pick if you are playing the medic class and you have the ability to self-heal. Then we have Quick Unspot, which reduces your spotting time by two seconds, so it could potentially save your life, but I doubt it. Then there's Bayonet Training, which makes your Bayonet Charge last one second longer and recover one second quicker. If you're the kind of player who thinks they could make good use out of this specialization, then I basically hate you. Hasty Retreat increases your sprint speed by 10% while suppressed. This actually might come in handy, although 10% isn't necessarily a huge game changer, so we'll see how it comes into play. Inconspicuous is the last universal specialization, and it has ruffled some feathers. Uh, basically what it does is it means if you're stationary or moving slowly, you won't be spotted by spotting flares. This basically makes the medic's spotting flares useless for trying to find a hiding player on a point. I think DICE should really reconsider this specialization and maybe just get rid of it entirely, replace it with something else. Now we're moving into the two exclusive specializations for each class. The first one is called Juggernaut, and it makes it so that when you have your gas mask equipped for the assault class, you will take 15% less explosive damage, and this can be stacked. So if you're using Juggernaut and Flak together, you can reduce your explosive damage that you take by 30%. This could be insanely useful for some of the infantry-oriented maps, and I have a feeling this will be a very popular loadout. The next one is called Controlled Demolition, and it makes it so that your TNT detonates sequentially. To be honest, I can't think of any really good use for this one, and I can't imagine any Assault players are going to pick this over what's already available. Next on the list, we have Concealed Rescue. Down squad mates within 20 meters drop smoke to cover their revival. Uh, it has a 40 second cooldown. This is actually a very useful specialization if you're playing close to your squad mates and somebody gets shot in a potentially dangerous place to revive them, they'll drop a smoke, making it much easier. Um, I was trying it out in game, it was popping off quite frequently, and also other squad mates, since there was multiple medics in the squad, were uh, proccing it even more. So there was considerably more smoke going off in the game. It could become an issue on some of the more infantry-focused maps, uh, because we're only able to play on this map here. It wasn't much of an issue, but I am concerned it might get a little bit overpowered in some of the crazy infantry-focused maps. There might just be smoke going off everywhere. The next one is called Stimulant Syringe. After reviving an ally, you both gain a 20% boost in sprint speed for an 8 second period and it does not stack. I tested this one out in game and it was actually quite useful, especially for the players who like to prioritize healing over combat when they play the medic. This is going to be incredibly useful. 
Moving on to support, we have unbreakable. Incoming suppression is reduced by 75% when your bipod is deployed. For my personal play style, I think this will be an almost worthless specialization. Then we have pin down, which basically allows you to let enemies remain spotted, provided that you're suppressing them. An interesting specialization. I'd have to test it out a bit more in game, but I don't know how incredibly useful it will be. Then we have the scout class and their first specialization is called scapegoat. A decoy is automatically deployed when struck below 35 health by a distant enemy. It has a 30 second cooldown. This will definitely be a useful tool for sniper duels or just getting mowed down by say machine gunners at range. It could definitely be a good enough distraction to kind of uh, take the fire off of you for a few seconds and maybe allow you to escape. I was testing it out. It didn't proc too much when I was playing, but I think a lot of the combat I was engaging in was kind of medium to close range. I didn't have too many sniper duels, but I could see it being very useful on specific maps. Then we have perimeter alarm enemies within 15 meters of your triggered trip mines are marked on the mini map. Something that definitely could be useful, but I don't know if it'll outweigh some of the other specializations out there. Now, based on my limited testing, I would say that Flak is, again, a must choose for any class. It should prevent you from getting one-shotted by a lot of grenades. And I mean, like, holy crap, like, can you think of anything more useful than that? You'll probably survive a lot of other explosive attacks as well. Considering how much explosive spam is already in this game, there's no reason not to choose Flak. I think overall the Assault and Medic get the most useful custom specializations. The Medic specializations I could see it running with both of those most of the time. Uh, when you're running with a highly organized squad it would be extremely useful allowing you to sprint around whenever you're reviving allies and also uh, having your teammates dropping smoke on them so you can get the revive in a much safer situation. Just incredibly useful specializations. The Assault allowing you to stack your explosive resistance when you have have a gas mask equipped is uh, again incredibly useful and it's going to be so crazy good on some of those highly infantry focused maps um, and just trying not to die to the insane amount of grenade spam it should come in handy now dice was asking for feedback on these specializations what we liked what we don't like what we might want added or replaced i think personally inconspicuous should be replaced uh, they shouldn't have a specialization in the game that everyone can run with that basically invalidates a huge portion of of the spotting flares. I mean, for the scout class, it's just such a useful tool and to have somebody else be able to invalidate it easily um, really sucks. I think they should get rid of that and just put in a standard one that like gives you more ammo. There's plenty of players out there would, that would probably like to run with more ammo in general. A few, two extra magazines or something like that would be very useful for a lot of players. So I think they should just get rid of that one and replace it with kind of something standard. I think the support class is getting too completely throw away specializations that probably nobody's going to use or at least use particularly effectively. I think you could just throw away those specializations and easily replace them. Um, I would put something in there related to resupplying, like maybe allow them to put down an extra ammo crate or throw their ammo pouches at a further range or resupply your teammates even faster. Just something related to resupply, which seems to be sort of the core element of that class. And then maybe something more interesting, since I think one of the bigger balance issues in the game right now is infantry versus aircraft right now. Snipers are kind of the only class that really have decent weapons against airplanes. What if one of the support specializations was uh, allowing your machine gun to do extra damage to aircraft or maybe allow it to do extra damage to aircraft when in bipodded mode or something like that. That could be kind of interesting and then you could kind of spec your support class against aircraft if you wanted to. Anyway, those are just a few of the ideas off the top of my head. I really don't like the bayonet specialization. I honestly think it's kind of a worthless specialization anyway, even if you are somebody who likes to bayonet all the time. Um, Dice could definitely spend some more time thinking of more interesting specializations here. Uh, having specializations coming this late in the game is a little bit weird and I think that they should try and use them to better balance out the game or allow people to balance the game in a way that fits their playstyle. For example, I don't like grenade spam. I don't like any of the explosive spam in the game. So flak is definitely a specialization that appeals to me. 
But uh, I also don't like the tank versus infantry balance or the airplane versus infantry balance. So putting specializations into the game that could help with that. For example, maybe a specialization for the assault class instead of the one that de detonates your TNT sequentially. Maybe one that allows you to do 10 or 15% extra damage to armor would be a nice way to try and balance out some of the infantry versus armor stuff in the game. I just think DICE could do a little bit better job of trying to use these to balance the game or letting players choose how they want to balance the game since that seems to be sort of the design motto these days of DICE not really wanting to commit to a specific play style or tell players how they need to play the game. They're giving us the option, well okay let us balance it how we want to using specializations. And so I think they could put certainly a bit more time into this. I feel like I could just sit down with a couple of developers for a few hours and probably come up with better options for like half of these specializations here. So uh, I, I hope they spend a bit more time with it and that the uh, community gives them a little bit of pushback on some of these, but um, it should add some extra variety to the game. We'll see how it changes up the meta now that we're already so far into Battlefield 1. As always guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. This is Level Cap signing off.